Hey guys, it's Charlie, and today is day 23 of my 30 videos in 30 days on working, teaching, and living abroad. Today's video is about finding housing abroad, and this is a subscriber question. Um, so, this subscriber wanted to know if it is better to rent or purchase a house while living abroad. And I'm going to answer this question along with giving you guys some websites um, in order to find housing abroad while you're traveling. So, the first thing that I'm going to answer is her question on if you should rent or purchase. Now, the thing is about going abroad is when we go abroad, we can't just go and purchase, a, a pur purchase land or purchase housing like we do here because we're not residents of that country and we don't have the correct visa or paperwork to actually purchase a house or an apartment and say hey this is my place you can see the paperwork that I have it's not like that so we can't just go abroad and just purchase something like that unless you have like a lot of money and connections and by connections I mean someone who is a native person in that country who can sign paperwork for you and all of that or unless you're married to someone from that country where you can easily get the visa that you need to purchase housing so you really need to look into that specific country that you're looking to go to to see what their laws and requirements are for actually purchasing housing usually you have to have a certain type of visa or have been born in the country it just depends on the specific country that you're going to but to specifically pur purchase housing it's a lot more difficult than it might seem so um, unless you have like a lot of money and you can work your way through some things but in general it's really difficult to purchase housing abroad or purchase land abroad but on the other hand, renting is a lot easier and is usually the way to go if you're looking to stay long term or even within a few months or a year. So I'm going to share some websites with you to find housing. Some of them are free, some of them are cheap, some of them cost more. So I'm going to share that with you. Um, to rent, usually you have to make sure that you, one of my things that I want to say is to make sure you get things in writing because I have a story for you about that um, when I was in Mexico. Um, I found my housing on the first website that I'm going to share with you. Just because I had a bad experience doesn't mean that every experience is bad. I just want you to know what not to do. And one of those is to make sure that you get everything in writing. One of the mistakes that I made was not getting something in writing. I didn't get my housing things in writing and so I ended up paying for the whole apartment. This was my first apartment that I showed you guys in Mexico. Um, my roommates, they had me paying for all of my all of the, the apartment when we were supposed to be splitting the apartment. And then um, my intuition kicked in and then I realized that I was getting um, ripped off. And so then, um, you know, all of that. And I, I didn't have anything in, in writing. So this is my main thing for you guys is to get everything that you do whether it's um, renting from month to month or renting for a year, whatever it is, whatever. If you're paying money, always get a receipt and get things in writing. So yeah, that's my main advice for you guys. So um, you can rent and I'm going to share some of the websites that you can rent from or just find housing. So the first one is Craigslist. And like I said, get things in writing. If you need to go, I know a lot of people have this idea of Craigslist that it's completely bad. It's not completely bad. I've had really good experiences through Craigslist and I've had few bad experiences but the good experiences definitely overpower the bad. So um, yeah, so Craigslist um, under the housing section you can find housing there from anywhere in the world usually you can find places to go. The next place is Airbnb. Airbnb is a website and some of you may have heard of it and some of you may not. Um, you can place your house or your apartment on this website and when you're away um, or if you're away for a really long time you can post it and people can rent out your apartment or your room for a certain amount of days and they can pay per day or pay per month and you can find 
housing on that website and you can also post housing on that website. So all of the, the list of all of the websites I'm mentioning right now are going to be in the description box and I'm going to also post them on my website blackpearlworld.com. So Airbnb is getting really popular and it's really good. I know someone who uses that. He rents out his place because he travels a lot and so he rents out his place by day and he makes good money doing that and then he can also if he wants he can search on that website and find a place to stay um, for long term or short term through the website and it's really cool because you find everyday people renting out their houses the next one is hostelworld.com hostelworld.com is for finding a hostel and there are a few benefits to staying at a hostel I think I have a video on that and I'll post it in the description box so be sure to check the description box of this video um, hostel world is great because you can find hostels all around the world for pretty cheap and hostel world is a great um, money saver so yeah check out hostelworld.com the next site is couch surfing and couch surfing is great I used it in Korea I used it in Mexico I used it in the Philippines so you can couch surf like surf on someone's couch and this is another one that has kind of a bad um, you know people think of it as a bad thing but I used it and I had good experiences you just have to go with your own um, intuition your own feelings about people and do the safety precautions that you need to go with and you know do whatever you need to do to make sure you're safe but at the same time you could easily be staying in a dorm room I mentioned this in a comment before you could be staying in a dorm room and one of your um, roommates can just wake up and decide to kill you <laughs> so um, when people think of these websites they're thinking like oh you can't trust people but in general you really can most people when you're traveling a lot of them are really helpful and a lot of them are really not out to like get you <laughs> and so um, most of these sites you're not going to find people who are just out to get you a lot of people are really helpful people for couch surfing it's really cool because you can make connections with people who are opening their homes to you their couch to you you can sleep on their couch and not only that but they're willing to show you around their neighborhood show you cool places to eat show you cool places to see I'm going to list a few homestay websites homestay is where you stay in people's homes it's kind of similar to couch surfing but you could it, it's a little more like official but I think couch surfing has been really cool for me um, one is homestayweb.com the other is homestay.com homestaybooking.com those are three websites for homestay but there are tons of homestay websites a lot of people do homestay when they're students or um, sometimes when you're teaching the company that you're working with if they provide housing you can opt for a homestay instead of your own apartment this is really cool because you get the cultural side of living in that country you get to see what it's like to stay with the family how they live how they eat how they live their everyday lives they also will be willing usually to show you around it's kind of like they're adopting you for a period of time and they're welcoming you into their home um, so you can usually get a typical meal from them they're really really willing to um, open their lives up to you so I think homestay is a cool way to travel and a lot of people don't opt for this option but I think it's one of the coolest ways to travel okay, the next um, website I'm going to tell you is one that I did a video on it's called woof.org woofing is where you stay on a farm you have to pay your flight and all of that but um, you stay on a farm and the things that they provide for you are housing and food in exchange for a few hours of work on the farm. So that's woof.org. I did it. I have a video on it. It will be in the description box. Um, the next thing is to look around for near local colleges and universities in that country. Usually near the colleges and universities there are lots of housing options for people who are going to universities but sometimes these are free for anyone who is willing to 
pay or stay there. So be sure to look near campuses because you can find some really cheap options when students aren't there and um, filling in the space. Usually travelers or people who are looking to stay there can fill in those housing locations. And with that being said, the next thing I want to talk about is going to the country, getting a hostel or getting a hotel, and then walking around and finding housing. This is a really great way, or you can also connect with people in the hostel. Maybe the person who owns the hostel can help you find housing. People are really willing to help you when you're abroad. I need to do a video on this too about um, how many people are really willing to help you. Um, so when you go to the country, it's kind of cool to be able to get some type of temporary housing and then search while you're in the country so you can actually see the place while you're there. Um, this gives you the opportunity to really look around and make sure that what you're paying for is what you really want. So um, I recommend going for walks and learning, like seeing what places are for rent, um, whatever signs there are, and that way you can actually go in physically and see what you're putting your money towards. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the country specifically and doing a Google search and finding the classified websites that that specific country uses. I mentioned this in another video, but um, when you find the classified websites that that country uses, for example, in the US we use Craigslist a lot, if you find the website like Craigslist but for that country that the natives use, you'll find tons of housing for that country. So we really need to get creative and start thinking about these things. Um, look at classified websites from the country and you can see long lists of housing ads on that website. So do your research on different websites that natives use in that country and you're going to have this whole world of information open to you for that country. I hope this was informational for you. Please check the description box for all of the links that I posted. For more questions, go to blackpearlworld.com in the guest book. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.